There are no dinner for free. The night was dark and stormy, and the only light came from the headlights of their car. They had been driving for hours, following the directions from the online listing. They were looking for a place to stay for the night, and they had found an offer that seemed too good to be true, a night in an abandoned mansion for free. They were a group of friends who had met in college, and they were bored of their routine lives. They wanted to have some fun and adventure, and they thought that spending a night in a spooky house would be exciting. They finally reached their destination, and they saw the mansion looming in front of them. It was a huge, gothic-style building with turrets, balconies, and windows that looked like eyes. It was surrounded by a high fence and a gate that was open. They drove through the gate and parked their car in front of the main entrance. They got out of the car and looked around. The mansion was in a remote area, with no other houses nearby. The only sounds were the wind and the rain. They felt a chill run down their spines. They knocked on the door, and it was opened by an old man with a lantern. He introduced himself as the caretaker, and he welcomed them inside. He told them that he had prepared some rooms for them upstairs and that they could make themselves comfortable. He also warned them not to wander around the house, as it was very old and dangerous. He said that there were many secrets and mysteries in the mansion, and that some of them were better left alone. He said that he would stay in his room downstairs, and that they could call him if they needed anything. The friends thanked him and followed him upstairs. They chose their rooms and unpacked their bags. They decided to meet in the living room downstairs, where there was a fireplace and a sofa. They wanted to have some drinks and chat before going to bed. They ignored the caretaker's advice and explored the mansion on their way down. They saw many rooms that were dusty and empty, with furniture covered with sheets. They also saw paintings on the walls that depicted a family that lived there long ago. They looked happy and wealthy, but there was something sinister about their eyes.